and welcome to this quick lick lesson. In this one, we're gonna cover a two bar lick that works perfectly inside a ragtime piece like the BGI course called Keep On Picking, which of course draws heavily on Truckin' My Blues Way by Blind Boy Fuller and is really similar in feel and the chord progression to Robert Johnson's They're Red Hot. It's that stop time part where we punch the C chord a couple times, then go to C7, then F, and then this F sharp diminished, what we're gonna do is insert this lick over the F part and kinda of use it as a bridge from the F to the F sharp diminished. Really cool and fun way to inject some fancy picking into that part, which is usually very bare, which is cool on its own, absolutely. So this could be something if you're working on that course, you loop it around a couple times to create an entire song, and maybe the second time around, you add this cool little move in there. All right, let's start unpacking the lick. All right, in section three, we got our C, C7, and our lick starts right here. We're gonna hammer up from the open six string to the first fret. And we're kind of gonna outline some key tones from this F7 chord shape, all right? And there was the first one, the root. From the E up to the F, it's just a hammer on. And then notice where my fingers are. I've got on my picking hand, that is. I've got my index finger resting on the underside of the fifth string and my ring finger, sorry, my middle finger, <laughs> resting on the underside of the fourth string right and maybe your resting place is something like this uh, you know when it comes to your default picking but you want to bring these fingers into the action here it's not necessary you could absolutely play this with all thumb if you wanted to but i find it helps me get a little bit quicker and helps me capture the vibe the bouncy sort of ragtime feel by bringing in these fingers on the fifth and fourth string so after our hammer on up to the f we're gonna pluck the open fifth string and hammer on up to the C. That's the third fret. And then we're gonna do a hammer on pull off combination move on the fourth string. And that's at the first fret. And we gotta land the idea here back on the C note. Fifth string, third fret. All right, that's fun in and of itself, right? It's just a really snappy. Piedmont style thing to do. Whole lot of fun. And where we land on C really sets us up nicely to do this move where we focus entirely on the fourth and second strings here. This coming from a C, right? So just get in that C major position. But we're going to hammer up to the third fret on the fourth string and the second string. Right? They move together, these two fingers. You want them to hammer together. And then what we're going to do is what we're doing is trending up chromatically to these two notes, but we want to change chords here, right? Change positions to our F sharp diminished, and I'm going to pinch those same two strings, four and two, to really highlight the chromatic move before simply ending this measure with the uh, first string, and that's under our F sharp diminished chord, which is at the fifth fret, and then also the fifth fret on the third string. All right, so these two ideas kind of work together to fill the space over the F and then bridge that connection between the F measure and the F sharp diminished. It's a fun way to do that. All right, let's take a look at the lick played slowly. All right, this one can be a challenge, there's no doubt about it, but it's a good way to insert something fun and kind of flashy into that stop time part of a typical rag like uh, Trucking My Blues Away 
or their red hot or the BGI cores um, keep on picking. Now, a couple of things just to reiterate before we close this lesson. First is that when you think about this part, there's this bounce that happens and it's kind of easy to get if you just play on time, but the bounce is just kind of implied in a lot of ways, right? Because of when we're playing in musical time, right? You feel that bounce and that bounce is really pronounced in a lot of ragtime music and I don't want you to lose that when we go playing a lot of notes instead of just those chord stabs, all right? So make sure you focus on getting that bounce to happen when you're doing that part, right? Hear how it's not right those are different things they definitely convey a different sort of vibe to it right and the other thing is right here after you hammer up on the fourth and the second string you've got a pretty difficult chord change for a lot of players coming right we're gonna have to move all four fingers from here to the F sharp diminished right and if you need to take some time and just practice using the uh, ring finger and the little finger on the third fret fourth and second string and changing to the F sharp diminished and pluck those same two strings just drill the chord change right start slow make sure you get it make sure you've got good technique but bring the other fingers along for the F sharp diminished. We want the shape to be in place, right? And then eventually start plucking through the tones so that you know you've got a good, a good chord fretting there. So just drill that. It's a great place to really get some work done on your technique. All right, I hope you enjoyed this quick lick lesson. I'll see you around BGI. Until then, practice smart and play on.